Hey guys, what's up? It's been like nine years. How have you been? Um, well, I've um, grown. <laughs> <laughs> and we moved houses. Um, actually, we moved up the street from the old house that I used to film at. Where I'm looking back at the old videos, and the videos were so blurry. So I thank you for subscribing to me back then. Uh, the newer videos are much clearer, and I hope you guys enjoy it. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to make babatrai uh, with uh, I think they call it tray kamau, um tilapia. So it's going to be rice porridge with tilapia meat. And I'm gonna also put some other seafoods in there, so hopefully you guys stay tuned and uh, have fun watching this video. It's been so long, so I feel so rusty. I feel so uh, funny talking in front of a camera. You know what I mean? But I know I'm talking to you guys. So if you guys enjoy this video, um, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Okay, okay I'll talk to you later. Bye. Okay guys, so I bought um, tilapia that I had them clean it and um, deep fry it at the store so it would be quicker. And this is how much it, it cost. It was um, six pounds, five ounces, and it was $1.99 a pound and came to $12.04. So, here it is. So the first step is to debone the fish. So take all the meat. Try to be really careful because it's a greasy bag. All the oil. All right. So I'm just gonna grab a bowl and put all the meat in the bowl. Just start anywhere. Um, discard all the bones, so you just want to take all the meat. Put it in there. Let's see what else. So I think during my tutorials with you guys, I'll kind of like fill you in on what's been happening because it's been like nine years and honestly, I just been living life, right? It was so much fun making the videos and that's why I came back. Hopefully you guys enjoy them. Okay, so. don't want to lose any meat, just debone everything. Debone it like this is your last meal. <laughs> you know, you can't waste, can't be wasteful nowadays. I also don't want my kids to choke on this bone. <laughs> oh my god. 
So hopefully you guys are, you know, in good spirits and I hope everything is good with you guys and you're healthy and you're not sick. If you are sick, I wish you a fast recovery because it's really serious. Like the world shut down, you guys. It's crazy. See, that's a bone. You need to take that out. I mean, you're not going to get all the bones out, but a big portion of it. So. Okay, so here is the debone um, tilapia meat. So here it is. This is what you're gonna say. So put this aside. Save this and put this aside. <clears throat> you guys, this is the tilapia meat. Save this and put it to the side. Garlic is $6.99 a pound, you guys. This was about a pound. I don't know if you guys have this, but this gadget right here is, is a lifesaver for dicing, mincing garlic. So. I say we should have about a cup of garlic. So let's see. We'll start with a cup of garlic because you need garlic for the when you roast your rice. So about a cup of garlic, okay? Put it to the side. 
We'll do a little bit at a time. Get back in there. So all you do is that, right? Oh yeah. Of course. I think it's stuck. Hold on a second. Fallen, a fallen soldier. Just don't get it stuck in there. Maybe we'll start off a little bit. Okay, so the next part is you want to um, put about two to three cups of rice, depending on how much you're going to make. So um, now I'm just going to rinse this rice out, and I'll show you the next step. Okay, guys, so welcome back. Just kidding. I was never gone. <laughs> okay, so I'm using my wok right here, my trusty wok that's probably about 20 years old. Um, so I'm going to use um, a cup of oil. I'm using corn oil. That's what I have at home. So, and then you're going to fry up your garlic. Okay. So let your oil get um, hot, and then we're going to fry up the garlic. You see the garlic? I don't know, you guys like these um, cook with me videos because before I was always so structured, but I don't have time right now. So I figured you guys get a video and then you get to see us, um, see me cook dinner for my family. So two birds with one stone. I think it's ready. I hope I don't get burned. Okay, so now you want to just put your garlic, be careful, into the oil. See how it's sizzling? Yes, baby. It's sizzling. That's what you like to hear. Okay, and you don't want to walk away from this, okay? So stay by your walk and stir. And I have the heat on high. Oh my God, it smells so good.
You know what's, what song is in my head? Savage. <laughs> I've been watching too much TikTok. So you just want to keep stirring it like this. You know what? You also want to get um, a strainer ready for it. So I have a metal strainer like this because I'm going to use half of the garlic. I'm going to split it up. I'm going to use half for later and then the other half for the rice. Really, you really need a lot of patience. Like, when you're doing this, just reflect on life. What are you grateful for? What are, you, what are your goals? One ponders, you know, these things while I'm stirring garlic so it doesn't burn. Because what I really want to do is watch YouTube. Mm. <laughs> or a show. You guys, tell me what shows you're watching right now because I love, I love to binge watch shows. Um, I'm watching For Life because we have Hulu and Netflix and Sling, Showtime. Um, let's see, For Life, Shameless, another ratchet show. What else? Um, the Good Doctor. I'm watching The Good Doctor. Um, yeah. Oh, you know what I like? I like Particle Sun. If you guys haven't seen it, it's really good. It kind of reminds me of Dexter. You guys remember Dexter? I was so in love with that, sh that show. I was so sad that when it ended. I was really sad. <sighs> but great things always have to come to an end. Isn't that what they say? You see how it's getting brown, you guys? You see the, the color changing? Okay, it's a really crucial part, so you kind of want to keep an eye on this. Keep stirring it. Rotate it. You can turn your fire off right now, too, which I'm going to. Just turn your fire off. I'm going to strain all of it. I have to pray. It's okay if there's bits in there because we're going to cook the rice in here too. Oh, look at this. See that? Oh. Can you see that? Woo! If only you guys could smell. Should I use this one? Swap time! This one's higher off the, the bowl in the bottom here. So swappy. Mm, much better. Okay.
So you want the garlic to drain off all the oils, right? But for, for, because this is garlic oil right now, so I'm just gonna pour a little bit back in here. So I need more to cook the rice. Okay guys, okay. You still with me? Okay. Now your oil is already hot, so ah, that was hot. Okay. So now you want to put your rice in carefully. Now get all your rice in. Don't waste any rice. You guys, let me know if this is a good, like, if you guys like this kind of video, or do you guys want me to do, like, a more proper video, like, here's the ingredients, folks, and you need da 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 da. I can do that too. Because I'm professional. <laughs> Okay, and this too. So you want to um, cook it until it all turns um, translucent. Not translucent, um, like white. I'm going to put some garlic. I'm going to put some garlic here. Two tablespoons of garlic. Okay. Okay. So what this does is it doesn't, it causes the rice not to expand so much, you know, when you do it this way. That's what they say. See how the oil absorbs into the rice? Yeah. So, oh, I think this is good. Okay. Okay, guys. Um, so I should have done, I should have boiled the water. <laughs> at the beginning but I totally forgot because I'm professional <laughs> so this is um this is the pan the the pot I'm using I think it's um is a 30 quart okay I think it's a 30 quart see how big it is so I filled it to the very top So um, I have the heat on high, and um, we're just gonna let it boil. But 
while it's boiling, I'm going to put some sweet radish, probably half the bag in here. One, two, look funny, three, four, five pieces into the tank. Okay guys, so um, you also want to put some fish sauce. Fish, I can't say that word. Fish sauce. There you go. Good old chicken flavors to base mix. And salt. I'm using Himalayan salt. I'm just here grabbing my measuring cups. So you guys, I'm going to do, I'm going to do one third cup of the chicken. cup of the chicken bouillon mix. And I'm going to do one fourth cup of Himalayan salt. Just gonna let that boil. Okay. I'll be back. Hey okay, guys, so once the water is boiled and boiling, um, you want to skim off the top to get the impurities out. Roasted rice, the one that we did earlier. Gentle. And now you're going to just let your rice cook until it expands. You'll know. I'll show you. I got you. Right. So 
Yes, I'm also um, putting in some other meats. Um, this is fried cuttlefish balls. You see that? And this is cooked fish balls. And I'm going to put this in. It's optional if you guys want to or not. And I'm also going to put in some baby shrimps. Oop. They're so frozen. <laughs> So I'll put that in towards the end because they cook really fast, okay? And right now, since it's, the rice is still boiling, I'm going to chop up my condiments, which is scallion, uh, cilantro, and then some sprout. And I have another mint, I forget what it's called, but I'll put it here somewhere. Um, but I forgot it when I was going to get other mints for other things I was doing. Anyways, I'm going to wash this now.
Okay guys, so do you see? You guys see the... <laughs> Wait, focus. Can you guys see? Hopefully focus. Can you guys see the texture of the rice? It means it's done now. So it should be good. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the fish meat in. Careful, Lee. Go into the tank. Okay. And then I'm also going to put, let's see. You guys, this is super optional, but I'm going to put these um, noodles in. These flat noodles. It's called rice flakes. If you don't have it, you don't need to put it in, but I have it, so I'm going to put some in. Just maybe like a cupful. Not too much. Okay. Just give it a good stir. I'm also going to add in the shrimp. Oops. Normally you do it more graceful. You know what I'm saying? And I'm going to put in the fish balls. So I'm going to actually cut these in half because they're kind of bigger, but these ones, I'm just going to leave. Okay, guys, so here is the fish balls and you just want to put them in. And just let it cook for like another 10 minutes. Okay. Give it a good stir. Then you want to taste your soup to see if it's up to your standards. So you want to taste test it and see if the flavors are what you want. Perfecto! Feel free to add more water if you want to top this off. But I think I'm good. Okay, so we're gonna cut so short. We're gonna, we're gonna cut these scallions now. And what I do is I save these ends and I regrow them. So I'll show you what I do.
I'm going to tilt the camera a little bit down. Hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing. This way. So I'll take this. We can regrow these in my garden in a container. Try not to waste anything if you can because these grow really fast and they're so easy to regrow. So then I'll go through this and then pull the yucky parts up. I'll just rinse these one more time. Well, I like to mince them as thin as possible because I don't want chunky ones. It just tastes better. Because I like a lot of them. Okay, so the soup is ready. It's about 10 minutes later um, and the fish balls floated up. So it's time to close your soup. Not close it, turn it off. You guys always say, like I always say close the light. My husband's like, you can't turn close the light. You have to turn it off. Okay, so there we go. Ball is done, you guys. Okay, so this is it. This is the end. There's condiments here. Remember the fried garlic that we made at the beginning of the video? This is soybean. This is hot chili oil. And these are the mints. So I like to start with um, bean sprout. Uh, 
a little bit of chili oil for now. I don't know how hot it is. And then some soybean. Okay, let's see. You can see the noodles, the shrimp that shrank, <laughs> the fish balls. And then you want to top it with your scallions. And maybe some more. 